Hello there, welcome to Digital Nomad, the channel that guides you through the digital nomad lifestyle. We're here to explore the ins and outs of this unique way of living. And today, we're delving into an interesting topic, creative ways to exchange skills or goods to reduce expenses. From bartering basics to online platforms for trade, we've got you covered. So if you're ready to dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a tip. Let's start with the basics. What's bartering and how can it help digital nomads? Now, bartering may sound like an ancient practice. Remember those history lessons about early civilizations trading grain for livestock? But it's not just a thing of the past. Bartering is simply the exchange of goods or services without the use of money. For digital nomads, bartering can be a game changer, especially for those on a budget or those looking to immerse themselves in local cultures authentically. Think about it. You're in a foreign country, you have skills and maybe some items to trade, but you're short on cash. Instead of reaching for your credit card, you could barter. Let's paint a picture here. You're a graphic designer traveling through a small town in Italy. You come across a local bed and breakfast that could use a spruced up logo. In exchange for your design services, you could negotiate a few nights stay. It's a win-win situation. They get a professional logo and you get a place to rest your head all without a single dime changing hands. Bartering can also help you experience a place more authentically. By trading goods or services with locals, you're engaging with the community on a deeper level. You're not just a tourist passing through, you're contributing to the local economy in a meaningful way. And let's not forget the environmental benefits. Bartering promotes a circular economy, reducing waste and the need for new goods production. So, you're not only saving money and having a richer travel experience, but you're also doing your part for the planet. But how do you find bartering opportunities? Well, that's where things get interesting. It's all about networking and being open to possibilities. Engage with locals, join community groups, and don't be afraid to offer your skills or items for trade. And that's bartering in a nutshell. If you're finding this helpful, make sure you're subscribed to Digital Nomad. Now, how about exchanging skills? It's not as complicated as you might think. Imagine you're a digital nomad, traveling the world while working remotely. You've got a unique set of skills, right? Maybe you're fluent in a couple of languages, or you're a whiz at web design. Perhaps you have a knack for capturing the perfect shot with your camera, or you can whip up a culinary masterpiece in the blink of an eye. These skills are not just your bread and butter. They're also your currency in the world of skill exchange. Let's explore some stories of digital nomads who've successfully bartered their skills. Take, for example, Sarah. She's a language teacher who offers Spanish lessons to locals in exchange for accommodation in various countries. This way, she not only gets to stay for free, but also experiences the local culture firsthand. Then there's Mark, a web designer who trades his skills for services he needs. He once designed a website for a hostel in exchange for a month's stay. Not a bad deal, right? And let's not forget about Emily, a talented photographer who traded her skills for a scuba diving course in the Maldives. And it's not just about professional skills. If you're a great cook, why not offer a cooking class in exchange for a local tour or a language lesson? The possibilities are endless. The beauty of skill exchange is that it's a two-way street. You provide a service that someone needs, and in return, you receive something valuable. It's not just about saving money, it's about creating meaningful connections and experiences. Remember, as a digital nomad, you're not just a traveler, you're also a global citizen with a wealth of skills that can benefit others. So the next time you're planning your adventure, think about what skills you can exchange. You might be surprised at the opportunities that open up. Exchanging skills can truly be a win-win situation. Stay tuned for more tips and don't forget to subscribe to Digital Nomad. But what if you have goods to trade instead? Let's dive into that. As a digital nomad, you may find yourself in possession of tangible items that you can trade. Perhaps you're a crafty sort, creating beautiful handmade items as you wander. Or maybe you've accumulated a collection of secondhand items that you no longer need. Even food items, such as local snacks from your home country, can become valuable goods to trade. Trading physical goods is a practice as old as civilization itself, and it remains an effective way to reduce expenses. But remember, it's not just about swapping items, it's about building relationships, learning more about local culture, and respecting the customs and laws of the places you visit. Handmade crafts can be a fantastic trade item. Your unique creations not only represent your skills, but also carry a piece of your journey. 
They can serve as conversation starters, opening up opportunities for cultural exchange and mutual learning. Then there's the option of trading second-hand items. As a digital nomad, you're bound to pick up things along the way that you might not need anymore. Instead of discarding these items, consider trading them. You'd be surprised how one person's clutter can be another person's treasure. Food items can also be a unique and fun trading option. Imagine introducing someone to the taste of your favorite hometown snack or swapping delicacies with a fellow traveler. It's a tasty way to share your culture and create memorable experiences. But no matter what you're trading, it's essential to respect local customs and laws. Always make sure that what you're offering is legal and culturally appropriate in the place you're visiting. And remember, the goal isn't just to save money, but to connect with others and enrich your travel experience. Trading goods can be another great way to save money and connect with locals. If you're enjoying this content, remember to subscribe to Digital Nomad. Now, you might be wondering where you can start bartering. Well, we've got some suggestions for you. In this digital age, bartering is as simple as tapping on your smartphone or laptop. There are numerous online platforms and communities where you can swap goods and services, saving you money and allowing you to connect with people around the globe. First up, we have Buns. This platform started as a small Facebook group in Toronto, but has since expanded into a full-fledged app, available worldwide. Buns is perfect for trading physical goods, from books to furniture and even clothes. You can post what you have and what you're looking for, making it a breeze to find the perfect trade. Next, let's talk about Simbi. Simbi takes a unique approach to bartering, focusing on the exchange of services rather than physical goods. Whether you're a graphic designer, yoga instructor or a language tutor, Simbi allows you to trade your skills for other services you might need. Now don't overlook the power of local Facebook groups. Many cities have dedicated bartering groups where you can trade goods and services with locals. This can be particularly useful for digital nomads who are looking to immerse themselves in the local culture. These platforms can be a great starting point for your bartering journey. If you found this useful, don't forget to subscribe to Digital Nomad. Well, that's a wrap on our guide to bartering as a digital nomad. We've traversed the globe together, exploring the art of bartering, a timeless practice that's as relevant today in the digital age as it was thousands of years ago. Remember, the basics of bartering are simple. It's all about finding mutual value in the exchange between two parties. Your skills, whether they're in web design, photography, language teaching or any other field, can be your currency. Likewise, the goods you carry with you on your travels can also be traded. The world is your marketplace, and online platforms offer a plethora of opportunities for bartering, connecting you with like-minded individuals around the globe. So, as you pack your bags for your next digital nomad adventure, think about what you can bring to the table. The world is waiting to trade with you. Thanks for joining us on Digital Nomad. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next adventure.